Hey everyone, today I am going to be doing a job that I've been putting off for, I'm ashamed to say it, about two years. And that is pruning my blackberries. Pruning blackberries can sometimes be pretty confusing, especially when you let them go as long as I have. But in a way, it's gonna make it easier to show you the differences in the canes that we're gonna be pruning out. So typically there's a couple of times a year to prune blackberries. The first time is right now, late winter, before the buds begin to swell. And that is when you wanna take out the growth that grew last year. For trailing blackberries like these, these happen to be Olala berries, they are biennial which means the first summer they, sh they send up a, what's called a primocane. And during that summer to fall, that primocane will put on side branches. They will winter over, and then those last year's growth in the spring will start to put out flowers and then berries the following early summer. So... There's a problem though, if you don't prune the second time, which is in probably June, July, after the fruiting, you're gonna notice that the new primocanes are starting to grow from the base. And they can grow up to 15 feet. The problem is if you let them grow that tall or that long without pruning them, they will not produce many or any side shoots, which means your harvest is gonna be a lot smaller. And that's what happened this last year. I have 15 foot long primocanes. They were not cut off in the summer. So in the summer, you need to top them. So my trellis is about six feet tall. So around six to eight feet is where you wanna cut them. And then for the rest of that summer fall, it's gonna put out the side branches. If you don't cut them back, to six to eight feet, it's just gonna make one long cane that will only produce buds and berries on that cane. So what I need to do, and I'm already gonna have less of a harvest this coming this year because I don't have those side branches. So what I'm gonna do right now is get in here and clean this mess up and try to show you how this is all gonna work. And I, I promise by the end, at least I hope, this is all gonna make sense. So if you have blackberries, you can take advantage of this video and get a bumper crop every single year. I'm already too late for a bumper crop this year, but if I do everything right today, next year I will have a bumper crop. So let's get into this. Now part of the problem with not pruning for a couple of years is you get a huge mess. I mean, you can see, I don't know, there's 20 or 30 canes growing out of the ground among the weeds. Uh, however, even though it's a mess, it illustrates the differences in the canes. So take a look. So these brown ones that are brittle are, are two years ago. So two years growth. Um, they were the primo canes two years ago. Then you've got ones that look like this one here that are green, but they have some age to them. And that is gonna be one year ago. So probably it grew in the summer of 2018. And now this one that is really green, it doesn't look old at all. This is what grew this previous summer, 2019. So the easiest way to tackle this would first be go in and prune off all of, or prune out all of the brown two year old canes all the way down to the ground. Now the next thing we're going to do is prune the one-year-old canes, the 2018 canes, down to the ground. And then all we're going to be left with are the summer of 2019 canes like this one. Now at this point, all of the canes that are older than this past summer are gone. Um, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you really want to leave five or six, and that's about it. And you want to kind of cull out the weaker canes. So if you notice, these are pretty thick. This one is a little more spindly than the rest. And so we're going to just take that out as well. 
because it's not going to be as hardy to produce bigger fruit. So any of the ones, this one here too. I'm going to cut it off at the base and get rid of it. And we're only leaving the strongest five or six canes to produce more fruit this year. And those will produce, the bigger the cane, the bigger the fruit, basically. This right here is a primal cane from this past summer. Now this will continue to grow and grow and grow and grow until basically winter stops it from growing. The problem is, left unchecked, there will be no side branches, and you can see that here. There's no side branches coming out to produce more. So you kind of look like when you pinch back a plant to make side branches, it's the same thing. So once this primocane, this first year's growth, gets to the top of this trellis, it needs to be cut off. And that's probably sometime around July. And then for the rest of the summer and fall, it's going to produce side branches, which will produce fruit the following year. All right, now that we've got all of the old canes pruned out, I'm gonna go through and take the leaves off of all the remaining canes. Uh, not only to clean it up, but basically to get rid of any disease, um, any chance of disease or pests overwintering and just giving it all a clean start. And that includes taking all of the dead leaves off the ground and really just cleaning up the space. All right, so this is actually really interesting here. Now that we've got these leaves taken off, um, this primocane right here must have gotten broken off sometime last summer. And so below that, we do have side branching. Now, all of them should look like that if I had done the right thing and cut them all back in the summer. But I didn't. And what you want to do with the side branches at this time of year in the winter when you've got the primo cane coming up and we have two side branches here is you're going to take about you want 12 to 18 inches of this side branch any side branches leave 12 to 18 inches and then chop off anything beyond that and that's going to encourage bigger fruiting a bigger fruit and more fruiting on this side branch so now that it's all cleaned up I've tied the canes into place with some twine just to fan them out, spread them out a little bit so each one now has the opportunity and the space to get some airflow in there and the opportunity to grow more little sprouts that are going to produce berries. As you can see, the ground is completely clear. If we move in here a little bit closer, you're going to see we've already, now that we've cleared away all this, you can see that we've already got some new primo canes coming up for this summer. One way to get new plants is if these primo canes are allowed to grow, once they get too tall, they're going to start growing back toward the ground. And when they hit the ground, they're going to root. So all you have to do is cut them off, maybe three or four feet up, dig out the roots, and you've got a new plant that you can plant somewhere else. And I'm actually gonna be doing that with quite a few of these. So I'm happy to be done. I'm happy with the results. I'm disappointed in myself that I let it get so bad for a couple of years um, because this is gonna severely diminish my crop this year. In the long run, and us gardeners always have to think about the long run. In the long run, it's going to be so much better next year. <sighs> Usually this supplies me with enough berries for an entire year, frozen for like smoothies and stuff. So this year, I mean, we'll see. I don't, there's a lot of canes. I actually left too many. So you want to leave maybe six. I left a lot more than that. So do as I say, not as I do. But this year I still wanted some berries. So. Uh, I left more than I should, but it's still going to be way better than, way better than it was. And, um, at the end of this year, all these are coming out. 
The primal canes will be topped. I'll do another video in the summer so we can keep up with it together. Um, other than that, I hope this video was explanatory, like really well uh, explained because there's so many videos out there and I could not get all the information from one video. So I'm hoping, I'm thinking back to see if I forgot anything, but I'm hoping that, uh, that you will get something out of this. And if you have trailing blackberries, this will be all you need to take care of them. So anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Comment below if you have any other tips or questions. I do try to get to all the questions eventually. And again, make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell icon, and I will see you on the next video.